The world is about to receive a new, hybrid, nuclear submarine and a new player in the nuclear game. Combining the knowledge and might of the submarine industries from the US, the UK and Australia, let us introduce you to SSN Olcus. On September 16, 2021, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison, as well as US President Joe Biden and UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced a new trilateral security partnership. And so friends, AUKUS is born. A new enhanced trilateral security partnership between Australia, the United Kingdom and the United States. We're opening a new chapter in our friendship and the first task of this partnership will be to help Australia acquire a fleet of nuclear powered submarines, emphasizing, of course, that the submarines in question will be powered by nuclear reactors, not armed with nuclear weapons. Today, we join our nations in a next generation partnership built on a strong foundation of proven trust. We have always seen the world through a similar lens. We have always believed in a world that favors freedom, that respects human dignity, the rule of law, the independence of sovereign States and the peaceful fellowship of nations. And while we have always looked to each other to do what we believe is right, we have never left at each other. Always together, never alone. Since then, little has been released about the future nuclear attack submarine. But today we will attempt to put together the crumbs which have been dropped over the past three years to reveal what we may see in the SS and AUKUS. Until the future SSN AUKUS comes online, Australia will be acquiring Virginia-class nuclear attack submarines from the US. However, the SSN AUKUS will be designed in the UK, as both the UK and Australia will operate these future submarines and the UK already has a standing nuclear submarine industry. Like the Virginia-class, the Royal Australian Navy's current vessels primarily use US-based systems. This would cause an issue if the incoming submarine operated with only UK systems. Therefore, to ensure interoperability and ease of integration, the SSN AUKUS will likely house at least some US systems. The UK has been working on their next generation, nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, the Dreadnought, for several years. At over 150 metres long and over 17,000 tonnes, this would be a much larger class of submarine. However, we can expect to find commonalities and cross-use of systems between the two. The Dreadnought will be fitted with four torpedo tubes, carrying Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes and 12 missile tubes for Trident to nuclear ballistic missiles. Whilst both the Dreadnought and Virginia-class submarines both have a crew complement of 130, it's not yet known the size of the AUKUS crew. Designers are likely trying, however, to lower this number. Whilst the SSN AUKUS will be smaller than the Dreadnought class, it will be significantly larger than UK's current nuclear attack submarine, the Astute class and even the US Virginia class. Australia has recently announced that the AUKUS will be over 10,000 tonnes. The current Virginia class Block 4 sits at 7,900 tonnes. Likewise, the Astute class has a maximum displacement of 7,800 tonnes. 
Similar to the Virginia class, but different to the Astute class, the SSN AUKUS will be fitted with AVLS system, capable of firing hypersonic missiles. Australia also said the submarine will have more missiles and more torpedoes than the Virginia class. Depending on the block number of the Virginia class, the number of missiles varies widely. The base number on board these submarines is 12, going up to 40 on the Block 5. As Australia is receiving the block for submarine, it is likely it is this model that they are comparing against. Therefore, we can know that the AUKUS will have more than 12 missiles, but will likely be between 28 and 50. The Virginia class can also carry up to 25 torpedoes, therefore we can know that the AUKUS will hold more than this. It has already been announced that these will be the Mark 48 heavyweight torpedo. The Mark 48 are heavyweight torpedoes designed to sink ballistic missile submarines and advanced surface vessels. It's estimated to be able to travel up to 55 nautical miles per hour and reach depths of up to 2,600 feet with a 293 kilogram high explosive warhead. Whilst the full complement of missiles is not yet known, other than the future hypersonic missile, the SSN AUKUS will also carry the Tomahawk land attack missile, which can hit targets over 1,600 kilometers away and possesses a 450 kilogram high explosive warhead. The SSN AUKUS will likely be powered by the Rolls-Royce pressurized water reactor 3, the same used on the new Dreadnought class ballistic missile submarines and will be able to conduct special missions, including intelligence collection and the insertion of special forces. Australia has committed to at least five SSN AUKUS submarines with their first to enter the water in the 2040s, the UK has not yet released their planned numbers or timeline. Regardless, these boats are likely to be the largest, most powerful nuclear attack submarines in Western navies, combining technology from Australia, the UK and the US. The submarines will be built in both Australia and the UK and will usher in a new era for Australia as a nuclear nation.